we know when that train's expected to arrive and what happens when it does arrive to the city just across from us? Here's Fox yesterday uh, showing us a bit more about what's happening at our border. This compared to the group that you're seeing here as a steady stream of migrants continue to head to Eagle Pass. This train was seen leaving Central Mexico yesterday and is expected to arrive in the city across from me this week. I want to bring in Lieutenant Chris Olivares. You brought us along last night. We saw that video of the train there. Do we know when that train's expected to arrive and what happens when it does arrive to the city just across from us? Well, typically is what we see when we see these type of caravans. The method of transportation is usually trains. And once they make it to the northern part of Mexico, they'll get broken up into smaller groups and then we'll see them cross between the ports of entry. Now, we do expect the train to arrive very soon. But of course, we've been seeing a constant flow here in Eagle Pass with illegal immigrants crossing between ports of entry. And when you talk about the gotaways, you talk about the sheer number of people that are crossing, well, the, the, the taxpayer, the communities here in, in Eagle Pass are having to shoulder that burden. And it's our responsibility as a state to try to prevent some of these illegal crossings. But as long as the federal government continues to incentivize illegal immigration, we're going to continue seeing this flow of illegal immigration between ports of entry and also these trains and caravans making their way to the border. Stuart, we have new numbers, a new report from the U.S. House Committee on Homeland Security Majority. They say the price tag per year is $451 billion. That is both for the housing and care of the asylum seekers as well as those known gotaways. Did you catch that? Did you notice what was on that guy's shoulder on his uniform there? State police. He's not supposed to be worrying about the border. The federal government is supposed to be worrying about the border. When Ron DeSantis says, we're gonna send the army down to the border, that sounds pretty freaking good to me. Uh, even Fox, by the way, Fox, which is actually covering this stuff, right? They're not gonna cover this on MSNBC. They're not gonna cover it on CNN. But the way they casually cover it, like, oh, and there's a train going, and there's a whole bunch of people on that train, and they're on their way to the border, and it's just like, like these things are just supposed to happen. A country is supposed to be invaded and look at all of these nice people. And then of course, it always ends up for some bizarro reason, all of the people fleeing the oppression always appear to be sort of well-fed, decently dressed men in their 20s to 40s. I don't know where all the chicks are. I don't know where all the tired and the poor and the huddled masses are, where it's old grandma with one suitcase. Here's what's going on in the East Village of New York City. This is literally yesterday, illegal immigrants online to get some of your stuff. Not one chick. That's weird, not one old person, not one baby, not one kid. It's just all dudes who kind of look like, I don't know, maybe Hamas fighter age. Do we have any freaking idea who is entering this country? And how stupid do you have to be? That sounds, it's gonna sound a little harsh for me to say that sentence this way. If you still live in New York City and you're seeing that in your neighborhood, East Village used to be cool and hip and like funky and that's where comedy, stand-up comedy in America was born and it's and like music and Bob Dylan, like it was just such a great, interesting area, the Lower East Side. And now it's like being overrun. And, and if you live there and you are still allowing them to take your dollars to do that, like at some point the rubber hits the road and then you just kind of deserve what you get. And, and what you're gonna get is not gonna be good, I hate to tell you.